All right, friends, this is a 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it, we're gonna be replacing the coolant thermostat on it. It is it, it, it's, it's, it's a really common issue with these cars, you know, that the, the thermostat just uh, stops working as it should and then uh, it doesn't close all the way or, or it opens very easily with the temperature so you see like the the temperature doesn't reach like the middle or, or the operate or the right or operating temperature uh, we, we are here in michigan we're having some cold cold temperatures right now so we're having a, a big issue with this car so uh, let me show you what where it's located at. all right so so in order to get to the thermostat housing, uh, we gotta uh, take this apart. See, this is the cover. It just pops up just like this. And the, the, the thermostat is gonna be located at the end of this hose, the upper radiator hose, which is this one right here. So you can you just follow it and where it where it meets the engine, that, that's gonna be your thermostat housing. So see, it goes down here. And the thermostat housing is gonna be right there. You see it? Right there. Okay? So to get to it, we're just gonna remove the inlet pipe, this right here, and then we're gonna have easy access to it. All right, friends. Now, we got the, the inlet pipe out of the way, and now you can see more clearly right here is your thermostat, okay? So we just need to take this clamp, uh, slide it back, Take the hose apart. It's just got two 10 millimeter uh, bolts, and it just pops out. Okay, I want to show you the new part right here. See how it comes? It's a housing, a whole housing. It's got a gasket right here, thermostat incorporated, and the plastic housing itself. Now this thing that you see right here is so that once you put the new thermostat, you gotta open this valve and bleed the air out of the system. That's very important because if you don't break, if you, if you don't bleed the air out of the system, you could get like air pockets that could get your car to overheat, okay? So very, very important once you put this on, you open this valve so the air comes out of the system. Okay, so we're gonna break this loose. And the one in the bottom. Okay, friends, as you can see, when I took the, the thermostat out, do you, do you notice anything? See? And see where the spring is? It's totally torn apart. See? Actually, I think this is broken right here. And then let me let me show you with the with the, old, yeah, the new part. Problem. See how it's supposed to be? And see how it is? So that is the problem with these cars. This part right here, this plastic tab that is supposed to hold the spring down, breaks. See right there? And right here is broken and then see the spring where it is okay so make sure you can see when they were putting this in they had a hard time to open opening this valve so you want to loosen this valve before putting it in so just you know get, grab a, a screwdriver and you know kind of try to break it loose and open it and then put it back get it just snug Okay, friends, so now we got everything together, back together, see, the thermostat, new thermostat, we got the hose, the upper hose from the radiator to the thermostat clamped in. Uh, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna open, we're gonna, remember what I told you about the, the valve? So we're gonna open the valve loose, all right? Now we're gonna fill our system with antifreeze until it starts coming out there on the valve. Once it starts coming on the valve, we're gonna close the valve, you know, just hand tight. All right, every time you're doing this type of job, you, you wanna make sure 100% that the thermostat is opening, that your electric fans are working, and 
and that you're having hot air going into your your HVAC system, okay? So, how, how do you check that out? Okay, first of all, this hose goes straight to the thermostat, to the new thermostat, right? So this hose is gonna be, once the thermostat opens, this hose should get hot immediately, okay? And I see that it's really cold, still cold, okay? So that means that the thermostat is not open yet, but if we check out the temperature in the, the temperature gauge in the dash, so we wanna make sure, you know, that we're reaching temperature, it's right there in the middle, and we also wanna make sure that it's blowing hot air. So right now, it's blowing a uh, hot air, but it should get hotter, okay? So now let's see up, in, up front. Okay, you can see it right there. Are you just... okay. Let's let it bleed out a little bit. All right, friends, there you have it. We got everything running as it should. Uh, the electric fan is working. We got the whole system, the thermostat open because we know the coolant is circulating. We got this hose really hot. We got nice and hot, warm air inside the car. That's it. So, uh, if you like this video, please give us some likes, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any comments you can or questions about this car, uh, you can leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.